what's happening guys, Tom Rothman has been officially announced as the head of Sony Pictures Studios replacing Amy Pascal who resigned just recently. And everybody is going like, OH MY GOD TOM ROTHMAN NO SPIDERMAN IS SCREWED UP THE WHOLE DEAL IS POINTLESS WHAT THE HELL IS GOING ON MAN KEVIN FEIGE WHY DID YOU PREVENT THAT? And I was like, what's up, what's going on here? Now of course, um, I heard about Tom Rothman in the past and I read some stuff just recently. This guy apparently is considered to be a cancer to the whole comic book industry. Now while this guy was at Fox, he basically screwed up a bunch of projects including X-Men Origins, he's the one who forced reshots, as a result we've got some really shitty CGI and a bunch of other stuff, he's the one who prevented the Deadpool movie from coming to the life, to the fans. There's just so much stuff about him which you can read in the description box, the whole backstory, how he left Fox and eventually we've got X-Men First Class which basically fixed the whole X-Men 3 problem and people again got interested in X-Men films. So some say he doesn't like comic book films in general and now uh, yeah he's the head of Sony Pictures and apparently Spider-Man is screwed up. Alright first of all relax. Let's just relax for a second. I'm going to look at this whole situation and this whole announcement from the uh, different perspective. Not as Spider-Man fan but just a guy who was walking down the street and spot some shit going on there and now I'm absorbing it from far far away. Now there's a bunch of reasons we shouldn't really panic, we should just calm down. Number one, you now if something goes wrong they can always reboot the franchise. <laughs> Second, who placed him as the head of Sony Pictures. From Sony Pictures leak attack uh, from last December we got to know that apparently Sony bosses over the Japan who were actually forcing Sony to make this deal with Marvel. They're the ones who were forcing them and they're probably the ones who said to Amy Pascal goodbye and farewell. Uh, sure, the whole deal happened when Amy Pascal stepped down as a chairman of Sony Pictures Entertainment. Does mean anything. The reason she stepped down was probably because she was forced to do so, as I said in one of my videos which was pros and cons of the whole deal. Sony Pictures is just a division of Sony as a whole, basically. And these guys over Japan probably played a part in the whole Tom Rothman being uh, the head, now uh, taking him as the head of Sony Pictures. So they took this guy acknowledging that he messed up with the, all these previous films while he was at Fox. It's not like he walked into Sony headquarters and said like, Yo bitches, I'm your boss now. He was chosen by the bigger, uh, higher position people there who know his backstory. Which brings me to the third point. Uh, the whole Marvel and Sony deal is just uh, one in a lifetime opportunity for Sony. As people call it to save Spider-Man at this point. So if you honestly believe that uh, Tom Rothman as a head of Sony Pictures is about to screw up the whole deal without anybody giving a shit, well you are wrong, nobody will allow him to say anything. You know, Marvel.com press already said about Sony Pictures having the final creative control, which is obviously a bullshit. As some people pointed out earlier on, uh, the reason uh, they mentioned that Sony Pictures has the final control is basically to give st still give some respect to Sony as if they still are in charge, but they're not at this point. It's pretty obvious who's in charge now, it's Marvel and Kevin Feige. Uh, the press release made it look like Sony play a bigger part and they're not. You know, for Sony this whole deal is just uh, light by the end of the tunnel in terms of cinematic uh, Spider-Man. Uh, and for Marvel, it's a big deal as well. They freaking rescheduled the whole release dates of Black Panther, uh, Thor, Ragnarok. It's a big deal for them as well. So nobody will allow this guy to just mess up with anything, trust me on this one. Uh, Sony Pictures isn't just about Spider-Man, there's a bunch of other projects where Morofman can use his amazing experience. Spider-Man, just don't touch it and he won't be able, you know, he was fired from Fox, obviously he stepped down from his position at Fox. Do you honestly think that uh, he would repeat the same shit, you know, he learned nothing and plus he is now watched by the Sony bosses Japan, he is now watched by Doug Belgrad. Spider-Man is now so weak. The cinematic Spider-Man is now so weak, he's made of glass, he can be shattered with just a simple touch, honestly. And finally he got some cover, which is MCU and Kevin Feige, and some contract obligations we have no idea about. Trust me, not everything was mentioned in the press release for obvious reasons. Nobody will mess up with this whole deal at this point. 
uh, even thought he can logically Tove Morrowman can affect the Spider-Man solo films uh, storylines he can mess up just like they did with X-Men Origins he can through uh, you know make some creative decisions which will ruin the film won't happen now so just let's relax just look at this uh, from a distance honestly it's not a game changer it's not like uh, the whole deal fell apart and Spider-Man won't appear in the Avengers or anything like that it's not like the Spider-Man solo films are now doomed because of Rolfman. No, X-Men Origins, he had some influence over that, he had some bigger influence over other uh, Fox projects. This time it's MCU, this time it's Marvel, this time it's freaking Sony collaborating. He's just a chess piece which can be thrown away if he will bark and if he will decide to mess up with, uh, let's say, Spider-Man solo films uh, plot elements. So don't worry guys, let's just think wisely. Thanks for watching and I'm up for now.